Welcome to this episode of Virak and Jeb Have Fun With Rockets. And today, Jeb has decided to start up a new rocket business. He's put out his first capsule and fitted a parachute. And next, we're going to fit the first engine you get access to, which is the RT5 Flea Solid Fuel Booster. So let's fit that on the bottom. Let's adjust our staging and go out and see how the RT5 Flea performs in its first flight tests. Now SRBs differ from liquid fuel engines in one key respect. Once you launch, they'll burn until they run out of fuel, and the throttle has absolutely no effect on them whatsoever. So if you watch the speed, we got to well over 500 meters per second before the engine burnt out. We got a lot of atmospheric effects, which implies we're uh, encountering a heck of a lot of drag. But let's just watch and see how high we finally reach what our maximum apoapsis is by looking at the altitude display here at the top. And as our upward vertical speed drops dramatically, we reach to a little over 8,000 meters. 8,080 meters to be precise. But I think we can do better than that. Now it would be wrong to say you have no control over your SRBs. If you right click them, you'll notice you have the thrust limiter option. Now this actually appears for all kinds of rocket engines, but it's particularly useful for SRBs. You can reduce the amount of thrust that your engine is generating. And most people will tell you that a thrust to weight ratio of approximately two is ideal. So let's just reduce the thrust to weight ratio here until we get that magical value of two, which is shown here courtesy of Kerbal Engineer Redux. And let's go back out and test our altitude record. We're back out on the launch pad with Jeb, so let's launch away. Now the first thing you'll notice is we are not accelerating quite as vigorously as we did in the previous example, and that's because we have limited our thrust. But also we need to check on our total speed, the maximum that reaches, and we're also hoping to reach a greater height. So as we're about halfway through our fuel, let's keep an eye on our maximum surface velocity. coming up to running out of fuel, and there we go, a little bit over 320 meters per second. So you'd imagine, since in the previous example we were going at over 500 meters per second, this ought to be a failure. But now let's keep a look at our altitude here up at the top. There we go, we've passed 8,080 meters, 8,300, 400, and we've even crossed 8,500 meters. So we did a heck of a lot better for what appeared to be less thrust and less speed. And all of that is down to the atmospheric effects and the power of drag to reduce your efficiency. So bear that in mind when you build that super powerful rocket. Thanks Jeb, we'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye.